Welcome to Electra Online. Before we show you, show you some examples of a Monte Carlo simulation, let's talk about how to prepare for one. What should we do? What are the steps that we follow to set up a Monte Carlo situation or a Monte Carlo simulation would be a better word because the setup is really important. So first of all, you must list all the possible outcomes. So really think about all the various outcomes that we could have and of course we want to list them so let's say we had five different outcomes and we'll name them a through e then we're supposed to assign probabilities to each of the outcomes so we think about each of the outcomes what's the probability of that particular outcome being the case and so here let's say that we assign some probabilities 20 percent 40 10 20 and 10 percent probability that one of these outcomes will occur then and this is probably a really important aspect of it set up a correspondence between random numbers and each outcome so let's say that we use a random number generator that will give us a number between 0 and 10 and so then we want to assign each of those numbers between 0 and 10 to each of the outcomes since there's a 20 percent probability that a will occur we'll give it two numbers 40 percent that b will occur we'll give it four numbers 10% that C will occur will give it one number, 20% that D will occur will give it two numbers, and 10% that E will occur, so we'll give it zero numbers. Now let's say that the total outcome had a probability of 90% and we didn't have 10% accounted for. Not that it's not 100% of the total, but sometimes the numbers don't really work out. Now sometimes we simply give it eight numbers, and if then the ninth and the tenth number appear, we just ignore it. We don't use that number because we only needed eight of the random numbers to properly give us the, all the possible outcomes, all the possible probabilities of the outcomes. So we'll show you some examples of that as well. Once you've done that, now you're ready to run the simulation. So then we're going to select random numbers. We're going to run a random number generator, and each time we have a number, we'll assign it to one of the outcomes and then see how that develops. Then we continue to run the simulation. Another really important aspect of the Monte Carlo simulation is that we run the simulation enough times. Don't run it five or ten or ten, twenty times, run it a hundred, a thousand, a million times. The more times you run it, the more that your simulation will give us the most probable set of outcomes and therefore the most probable outcome of the overall simulation if we run it just enough time. So we'll see some examples how the number gets better as we run the simulation more and more times. And of course, at the very end, then you go ahead and compute the statistics so you can then represent what the Monte Carlo simulation has come up with. And so that's the way you want to run the simulation. Now let's go down and show you some examples of how to actually apply that to some realistic scenarios. And that is how it's done.